So our third speaker of the morning is Priyanka Banerjee Gwinnett. She has her Master's in Physical Therapy from the University of Toronto and her Bachelor's in Kin from the University of Waterloo. She is currently working at the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario in both inpatient and outpatient departments. Priyanka. We have to go back one slide. There we go. Okay. Okay. Well, so consider a consult that reads seven year old female with retropharyngeal abscess, drained. Torticollis and decreased neck range of motion. Neck range of motion improving. Torticollis persists. Had ringette injury one to two weeks ago. L uh, left SCM tight plus plus on palpation. Query muscular component to torticollis. On exam, she had negligible neck extension or flexion and no active rotation or side flexion in any direction. She was guarding significantly like this. It was pretty pictured. So could the wry neck be a red herring? So a quick lit search led me to Gristle's syndrome a p as a potential cause of her symptoms. Gristle's syndrome is atlantoaxial ligament laxity specifically associated with pharyngeal infection or head and neck surgery. This disorder occurs primarily in children. Given her age, history of trauma, surgery, and infection, could this be a C1, C2 instability or subluxation? So what do you do? You get an ortho consult, stat. X-ray and MRI can help. Here are examples of open mouth and flexion extension x-rays showing C1 and C2. However, CT truly is gold standard. In this example, you see the dens clearly shifted off of midline. In our case, our patient couldn't actually tolerate x-rays. She was in too much pain. So the team decided on an MRI. While MRI results were pending, her virology came back, and they tweaked her antibiotics a little bit. Next thing you know, her neck had full range of motion, and her MRI showed ligamentous stability was actually intact. She did not have a C1, C2 subluxation or instability and did not have Grissel syndrome. Anticlimactic? Yes, perhaps. Good learning opportunity? I certainly think so. Thank you very much for your attention.